Alrighty, guys. So if you guys didn't know, Beldeth just became the most broken jungler in the game off one single buff. So they nerfed her attack damage growth, but they increased her monster damage modification by 20%. So you can see here, I was a little 51% win rate jungler, which in, in my opinion, she's really broken in the like higher levels. As the skill level gets better, uh, she gets more broken. And then we just go to patch. Oh yeah, this is, no, this is not. Ugh. Oh my God, she is hunt. She is super broken right now. So if you guys want LP, well, you come to the right place because I'm gonna teach you how to play her. So there'll be the runes somewhere around there. Those are the runes I'm running. I can explain why. Double adaptive because she already has a lot of attack speed. You can go sun impact for better clear or sorry better ganks and more like damage early game um and then treasure hunter to snowball a little bit more which is nice you can go last stand or tenacity again alacrity i don't think you need bloodline this champion so just go with tenacity you know alacrity if they have no cc uh i did not go at this game maybe i should have because they did have a nautilus and a cannon but i planned on going merc treads because they did have double ap in the mid lane and top lane yeah, i'm just going for a little harass that's all i am no first strike there don't worry about that and um yeah conquer is probably the best and like i said i do have armor this game for the graves and there's a lot of things happening this game this looks like my bot lane is inting thank god they are not now i do want to say something oh that's not it oh my god oh anyways if you're not getting a leash please do chickens every single time when you do this clear, I want you to do this uh, exactly the way I'm going to say it. Q, auto, Q, watch. Q, auto, Q, auto, auto, Q, auto. Um, and that way, because your Q is on a uh, individual cooldown, so that means that they come up when you use them. So you actually have like, yeah, see, watch this. Q, auto, Q, auto, Q, auto. Now, if you did Q, auto, auto, it's a little bit delayed on your... Uh, four Qs and you really want to get that as soon as possible. I also smite this because, you know, we get execute damage from our E. And as Belveth, I do want to look for a level three gank. I do not want a full clear. I want to get this game over and done. It's a very snowball champion. It's very broken right now. Like I said, you can abuse it for ELO. But uh, yes, try and look for a level three gank. Again, we're looking for a bottom gank right here because we need, well, we know this Draven has, what? He has no summoners. And I don't know if the Nautilus does, but here is a great kill if they didn't ward. And you see Draven looked up. Yeah, Draven walked up. He walked He walked up. He's dead. There it is. Do I need to... I don't know if I need the ghost, honestly. I was actually really hoping... I was actually, Damn, this guy cut me really well. And I actually have the back here. No problem. Um, so I can't get this enemy jungle. But what I was going to say there was... I don't know if I actually needed the ghost because... Uh, he had no summoners, and he knew he was dead, so honestly, it wasn't the worst. I'm going to exit the fountain a little bit early, because I do have a red buff. I just want to get to my clears as fast as possible, so that's why I'm doing this right now. I'm using my Qs just to move to lane, and yeah. Um, we I actually maybe could have pushed up the wave if my, if my bot lane wanted me to, but I actually... Yeah, honestly, maybe we could have denied him a few, but uh, I don't know if we would have, right? I don't like leeching XP early, because... Um, you get 50% reduced hit point, right? Or sorry, XP. So I do not like leeching, leeching XP. My Graves, or the Graves is coming for a gank. I'm kind of pinging him back. And I'm just going to do this. And the moment I see him come is when I actually come now. I don't need to smite this. So I'm looking at the situation before I analyze it. Just go in the Graves right here. Block every auto if we can. Hit the auto. Q into him. Nice stun from her. Give an auto at the end. And we shouldn't try and kill this guy. It's a little awkward. I'm trying to cut him off. But uh, yeah, I'm also looking at the wave mid lane. Is it pushed in? Yeah, it is. And I actually wore it over to see if... Uh, I don't remember if I took the plant. But I think he did teleport away. A little awkward. And he does get away. And he teleported away. So unlucky. We can't get him. And smart of him to TP. My top lane is feeding. And unlucky. But uh, we're just going to accept the fact that that happened, right? So... Here it is. Let's see if we can gank. We can't even gank him. We're just going to do this. Going to do a full clear. I'm probably going to go reset into my bot side. Maybe even get a clear onto... I'm uh, oh, sorry. I gank onto my bot lane. But then I see this happen. Maybe I could do enemy chickens here. But I think he did start red. So, yeah. 
Um, I'm good. I'm gonna actually back here, I think. Wait. Oh, yeah, I can check his chickens. I'm actually, I remember now. Like I said, either check his chickens or I back here, right? And since I... I'm feeling... Yep, yeah, there it is. It's up. It's been a while. And there he's forcing these ganks. I actually do not want to ward this one. I want to get a better ward. Because I see him committing to the bot side gank, right? So I'm actually going to get a better ward. This, If I do ward this, it's going to get cleared the moment we see him. So I'll get the, a ward that never really gets cleared. And you can see a lot. You can see it goes up and down. Like if they go to golems and whatever. So this ward is insane value if you can get it ever here. Um, yeah, it's very nice to get. And then, uh, there you go. Do. I'm going to get all this. Are we going to play this dive? I'm just waiting for these Krugs, right? Waiting for the cooldowns on my Q. Oh my god. EQ out. E double E. Uh, WQ out. I actually think. I actually didn't know this, but um, your E actually reduces the damage from the uh, tower. So when you dive from the right side, this is a little awkward. Remember, use your dashes up left and down left. Use the other two to escape. So down right and down and up right. Um, Make sure you use them to escape in that dive, right? And if you can, hit your W and use your E to maybe block a turret shot or something like that. Um, with that being said, we're really fed right now and we should be accelerating this game. We got uh, a kill, double kill. Oh wait, we killed Graves. We have a lot of treasure hunter. And now we're just going to do a full clear. Um, actually, no, I think we're going to gank after this. I'm looking for that Draven because he has no sums. Hey, really? You're not going to gank bot lane? Isn't that free? Yo, you got a pink ward there too, and he's overextended like that. And they just traded like an idiot. Why didn't you go bot lane pants? Hey! Your your tribush is warded too. No! No, why? Didn't you just gank that lane? Are you stupid? Oh my god, I literally played this like four hours ago. No, this is just me being nervous, man. I don't know if I don't want to get caught out you know, shit on my lead. Yeah, this is so stupid of me. I should have ganked that, and I should have trusted my Milo and myself on the on actually doing that. This is probably like my third, second Velvet game, so I'm not like insanely comfortable with her, but I did want to get level six, and now I'm more comfortable fighting this, right? So, uh, I'm, I'm more comfortable fighting this over here. Yeah, I mean, it is warded, yes. But I'm just gonna get it clears over here. We see Graves doing that, so... Here, I really want to do my drag. Ugh. I should have pinged my mid laner that we're gonna do dragon because we see uh, Mr. Graves in the top lane. And yeah, I really should have pinged my mid laner to come mid and just push one more wave and help me do it. Because Graves is doing his top lane uh, camps. We see Mr. Nautilus over here. I really want to get my alt stack. And you know what? I actually got pissed off here. Yeah, I actually really want to get him off it. And yeah, I, yeah, he flashes. That's okay, man. Uh, and I can't go top left, right? Because there is a Victor. Can we do this? No, it's looking kind of hard. I don't have my W. It's a, it's a little... You see, I would have... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's a little hard commitment. I didn't like it. And I have to back because of that. I do have red buff, actually. Oh, but then I see his top lane yet again. So, hey, you know what that means. Three crab. And Victor is losing a lot of plays. This is why I know... I can contest this because uh, Victor really wants to catch that wave, right? So that's why I can do this here. There's a ward. Get some life steal there. And then we're going to go do the dragon. Finally, Syndra can help us with this. Um, so yeah, maybe I should have pinged that Syndra. This was a good idea to do before she backed. Then she can do her back and, you know, even push a wave or so. So we get this. Easy peasy. Hey, Nautilus is here now. This is awkward. Yep. It's very awkward, guys. Uh, Draven is coming. Syndra, please come. This is getting a look. Okay, now we're good. We're good. We're good. There we go. Get the ulti stack. And he does tops. Yeah, he's in the top side. Doing whatever he wants to do. If they get a kill on the mid lane. There's a fight going bottom. I don't know if I can clean this up. He doesn't commit. Damn, I actually could have done Gromp here. Okay, it's okay. They're not gonna face check this. And I see Cinder getting pooped on. So let's oh, we flashed again. And did you know my E goes over Fog of War? I did not know that. So, <laughs> apparently it kills that and it's good to go. I like to use my E when they're out of range of my auto attacks and I can't reach them anymore. So it's like kind of like poke. And 
obviously you can use it for like the damage reduction oh what the heck you can use it for like the damage reduction stuff but again it's an execute as well as a as a way to oh i actually should have engaged on him i don't know where nautilus is my jinx is telling me i can fight this right um so i actually should have fought it but i don't think i should so again this is very this is kind of like I'm a little unconfident with this, uh, my Belveth at the moment. I haven't gone like super ham and I need to go like insanely ham and limit test more. Because right there, I can actually kill uh, Draven and all in him and I have Jinx is there to follow up. I think the Jinx is also pinging that Nautilus isn't there. Maybe she was low or he was low so I actually could fight him there. And yes, I could fight double kill them by the way. As long as Victor doesn't come or Grace doesn't come, that's the only way we can kill them. Um, but essentially, okay. I want to go for a kill here. Let's see. Yep, going for a kill. Let's see here. I know I can duel him because I'm very fed. That's it. Get this. I don't think I can queue up, but it's okay. And I'm just going to chase really hard. Make sure he completes his recall all the way to the end. And just going to W this if he, or sorry, Q in up. And then I W to where he might E away. So that's why I did that. And he goes the long way. And yeah, that's it. Let's take his golems. And yeah, like I said, not too confident on my Belveth yet. I need a little bit more work and to do more limit testing. And just like go in and fight whenever I think it's a decent fight. This champion is very snowball-y, but also very uh, risk adverse or risky, right? So make sure the fights you take are in your favor. So you can secure that. But then I see, look at this. Oh, wait, I have Belveth R. There's an angle that actually ganked this, right? It's right here. And I just E over or Q over. There it is. Get your thing. A little awkward. A little awkward. A little awkward, right? I also forget to use my ult and get it. That's one thing. But, uh, hey. That's okay. Um... I don't think I could have. No, it's a little hard to actually uh, kill him there. Because of his W placement was really good, so I have to back up a little bit. Anyways, we know Grace is down here. Let's see if his blue is up. But I don't know. I don't think I should contest this. Um, see, if I go for the Gromp and Nautilus and Draven are here, it'll be bad. I can fight Grace. I just have to be kind of careful. That uh, Nautilus and Draven Rooms. Don't give your lead for free, right? You don't have to do that. I mean, if you know your champion and your limits, yes, but like, I can't 1v3. At the Draven and maybe potentially Nautilus in the bot lane around the Gromp, yeah, I probably could have killed Draven. He's really weak. So that's how he could have snowballed. But uh, I'm just taking guaranteed fights. I know that I can win. And then I start limit testing once I feel the game is over. I just lost my. Uh, ulti stack so I can't charge over walls um, and I'm gonna recall because I need the ninja I'm oh, sorry I need merc treads to survive against the Kennen and Victor and Nautilus and then I'm gonna go death stance later but I think a good blade rune king is good here actually wait do I go blade? oh yeah I do so the reason you go like kind of glass cannony and master E build is because her ult gives you health you have damage reduction off your E as well as life steal um, so you can tank one wave of damage and yeah, you can take one wave of damage as your E and your whole job in team fights is not really to be a tank. It's more to actually be the secondary person to go in. Um, and so you let like someone else use all their crap. Yeah, right now he just used all his crap. This is an infinity kill from me. So first I'm going to go into Draven. I'm going to ghost in. Hey, stop it. Dodge that. It's okay. I'm going to actually get this first. Going for a hard chase. Yep, going for a hard chase. And there's a ward there. And of course, we're going to hit this. One, two, three. Boom. There it is. Get that. And get the Gromp. It's not there. His Wolves is not here. I'll just go back and say, let's go for the Dragon. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And yeah, the bot lane is super screwed because of that like one play early game. And he had no sums. We screwed him a little bit once. Maybe we could have pushed in the first wave a little bit more after we killed him. But... Uh, yeah, just go Glass Cannon on this champion, and then you can build uh, Defensive After. Just think kind of Master Yi. Remember, your job is to get a reset. Once you get that one reset in a team fight, you get your ulti. It's really good. So if you can do that, 
I was looking for a gank here, but then I see Scuttle is coming here. You know, if the victor decided to face check that, yes, it'd be good. Um, I do want to gank this, but uh, give me crab first to let level 10. Yep, get crab first. <gasps> okay, there we go. And now they're hard overextending. Give me that. There it is. And now we're just going for Draven first. Sindri, you can stay mid if you really want to, but... Uh, Have to protect him. Hey, let's go. I can't get the thing first. Get a kill first. I think she has that. Yep, we're gonna get this R. And then, honestly, I get the next R. No, I don't. I'm only gonna push this because I'm ready here. But you see, they're like fighting over the rift and doing whatever they want. I'm just gonna wait for this. Jinx wants to go back. I'm gonna go stay here. And yes, this is gonna be in my 1000 LP account, so. Uh, that's why I didn't like talk this game. I didn't talk this game at all because uh, usually I try hard on my main account, right? The so Facebook is my, ma my my grandmaster master smurf, which I can do have more fun. And I was thinking of going on the cannon, but look how much uh, look how much money we have, right? We don't want to give our bounty for free. We do have merchants. Yes, we can maybe outplay, but uh, let's go level eleven first and then see what happens. Uh, looks like oh, we're gonna get out here counter jungle. Him. Easy peasy. I'm gonna actually do a flank here. I actually think I can kill him here. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess we're not killing him here, hey? <laughs> and there's the throw. I I should have went to the left. I should have went to the left right there to kill the Draven and Nautilus. I Fuck. tried to I tried to limit test and kill the Graves, but he had I don't know. He had Eclipse and a serrated dirk, so I guess he wins that. I didn't buy, man. So that's also one reason why. Uh, yeah, and I don't get Blade Rune King. If I just did one more camp, man, I'd be so big here. I have no idea why this Graves has a, like, a, almost a collector with the clips. Hey. Oh, I decided to buy Wits End. Um, because I did see the cannon. Oh, <laughs> I am actually kind of smart. I did see the cannon get really big off that stupid kill. So instead of going Blade Rune King, and I have like a perfect buy for Wits End, I decide to go for the Wits End. And this time, I actually would not be going for Blade Rune King, um, just because it's a little expensive and I do want to get a little tanky. I'm actually looking to try and kill him here, but it's okay, we don't have to. Big dive coming in. I don't know if we get, yeah, we can get this. Let's go. Dive, dive, dive. It's actually really hard to hit W on him. Oh, actually, never mind, I like that for free get my ulti stack here i'm gonna look for his blue buff and maybe cannon let's go for cannon yep easy peasy when you have this much movement speed oh he should be going down yeah he should be going down yep should be going down it's okay yeah you can't kill me and he can use e after oh oh okay guys remember when i said you could use e after i guess not i'm full health for some reason Good thing I bought that wits end, eh? Kind of, kind of worked down in the yeah. This is another limit test. I should have went to my camps. We have no. This is like where I want to get really ballsy. <laughs> Fuck, man. This is where I get like a little ballsy, right? Um, I want to like punish and do all that stuff. This is why I don't like being the person to go in first and in, into the enemy territory. I'm so squishy. I'm like glass cannon except against uh, Victor and uh, Cannon. So, I'm looking for ideal picks. I'm not looking for all lins. I'm looking for someone else to tank, you know, all this damage, right? I don't want to be the person tanking all this damage. I really thought Nautilus used his R. But unfortunately, oh, this is looking unfortunate. This is looking unfortunate in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, this is, that was like one of the plays I didn't, yeah. Going into his jungle, not ideal. And... Uh, it was kind of a limit test and saying I can I can punish this guy. I, I'm gonna be the one to kick to take his jungle. But apparently I can't if Nautilus is there. And also apparently I just can't in general if uh, he has these two items called Collector and Eclipse. So yeah. Um Oh awkward. <laughs> but Dragon's coming up. And right about now, timing off five seconds. I actually could have maybe took that blast man to reveal some things. There is a thing coming there, but let's just get this for free. And then yeah, just use my keys as much as possible if I can. Right on cooldown. I 
what I usually do is I like to save my uh, Q um, if I think a team fight's about to happen. So just hold your Q if you think a team fight's going to happen. I like to use the one. Uh, I like. I think I used to like to use my back ones. Also, I'm. Oh, oh. Yeah. See, this you can tell it's like amateur all that, but because I know how to play jungle and a decent amount of uh, how to play. What's it called? Champions or just team fights? Kind of helps. Uh, kind of looking. Again, if I'm on vision. I don't go for the play. Like the Syndra, she's not a vision. Okay. We just push the wave, and I'm gonna counter jungle a little bit. Uh oh, can't go over there. Something's happening. What the hell? Yo, this is a huge chase. Yeah, this is a huge chase. Let's go. Oh, huge, huge chase. They made a big mistake. We got a ward. Good finisher. Yeah, there it is. We can actually do uh, whatever this is down here. And we get a uh, Baron for that. So, good chase, right? Good chase. This is why you go Ghost. Uh, I know a lot of people go Flash. It's up to you. I think solo queue go, go Flash. Or sorry, go Ghost. You can clean up and kill people a lot better. So, yeah, just, just do that. Just do whatever I said. Ghost is really good. For 1v9ing especially. Cannon can come in. And, yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm actually going for a hard chase here. What is this? You know, I killed him there, right? Yeah, I, I didn't understand how I killed him, by the way. Kind of crazy. I don't know what killed him. I think red buff, but apparently I did so much damage. It just kills him here. Now, I do apologize if, you know, this isn't the hyper carry, 1v9ing, Belveth, uh, smurfing in bronze or whatever, but this is how you kind of, uh, play in a higher elo I, I don't go like so ham and like just totally destroy them i have to play pretty macro focus and respect the enemy the moment i just start disrespecting them i mean you saw my two deaths right you saw the one death i tried in the jungle and then we can go death stance and be good here i actually recommend going guardian angel um because they're very squishy and if you get one reset after you die yeah, you can just dive with Guardian Angel. I guess this is good though, but uh, you don't get the recent team fight, it's really bad. But like I said, if you do... I mean, I, this champion, again, like I said, can 1v9 games. Um, if you get really fed, I'm very fed for some reason. I'm low 15. I'm gonna look for this Victor. I lag, I don't... Oh. Yeah, remember what I said? I don't want... I, I want to fight this, but uh, remember what happened last time? I, I'm actually playing very respectful. Oh wait, no, I have, I have death stance, don't I? Yeah, yeah, I can actually kill both of them now, because I have death stance and wit stand. I just didn't realize it. I just had PTSD of the last time I fought, and they don't have any CC. By the way, what you should do when you're playing Veleth is you should, uh, you should check if they have CC. Because the moment they don't have any CC, you can actually pull some one v twos. Right? Um, I know maybe Victor, W can CC, or Nautilus, RTC. Because they can cancel your E, right? The thing is... Oh, look at those jellies thingies. But anyways. The thing is, if you have hard CC, your E is cancelable. And it's a it's a channel. So, a Nautilus hooking you, a Nautilus ulting you, a cannon ulting you will cancel your E. So, if you can keep track of that. A Thresh, when he uses... Uh, you know, after the CC is down, Nocturne Fear, whatever, you can start to use your Eden and fight back and, and uh, yeah, life steal off that, all that stuff. So hopefully, this is kind of informative. Hopefully it helps you play Belveth a little bit better. I know my Belveth in this game was a little pussy, but it is, uh, I would say, it respected the, the enemy a lot more, right? It's not too 1v9, but hopefully you guys can see how Snowbally this champion can be. I, I would love to maybe play in my Smurf, but, uh, and more limit testing, but this is the 1000 LP challenger game. Let's see how much LP we're at. Oh, 982. Oh, what the fuck? 29. And a 29er. Goodbye.